Now let us look at the very first case which is a cantilever beam with the point load at the free end. So this is how a cantilever beam looks like with one end fixed and the other end free. So how do you analyze such a thing? It's very easy. Starting from the free end, let me consider any section x, x and this is at a section at a distance small x from the free end. Okay, so what would be the bending moment at the section xx? It would be minus w into x. Why negative? Why? Because it is hogging. Okay, so if you look at this, the variation is linear. So the moment at b, at b the value of x is 0, so it will be 0. Okay moment at a where the value of x is l it will be equal to minus wl so if you write down this thing and try and draw a bending moment diagram out of these variations so what i will do i'll just take projections like this okay and then like this so draw this line horizontally so this is point a and this is point b at b it is zero at a it is minus wl so minus is below this line and will be a straight line this so this is minus wl so this is the bending moment diagram which shows the variation of bending moment on this particular beam so this is BMD. Now let's find out the shear force diagram. So SF at section XX is nothing but minus W because it is in the downward direction. Okay. Similarly, this will be same at B and same at A, which is minus W. Okay. So if you bring it further down. Try and make SFD and BMD below the main diagram only. So at B it is minus W. It is minus W. And it will be same. It will be same till point A. So this is point A. And this is point B. So this is again a negative shear force. So this is SFT. So this is how you pretty much draw a shearing force diagram and a bending moment diagram. Remember one thing, the shearing force diagram will always close. Okay, meaning that if you, if, if you take this section towards the right, you have a net force downward. So towards the right or left, you will have a net force upward. So if you start from this point, go down, that is what it is indicating, till point A there is no variation. At point A, you will go and close this because you will have an upward net resultant on the right and left hand side to balance out the uh, W on the right hand side. So this is always the case in the case of an SFD that is SFD will always close if it is not closing then you are going wrong somewhere okay now after the cantilever beam with the point load at the free end let's look at the cantilever beam with a udl 